We got this Bentley now. I'm not gonna paint it. I'm just gonna paint the wheels. The owner just want the wheels gloss black. So I'll be painting the wheels and leaving everything the same. This is gonna stay chrome. This is gonna stay the same. But the rest of it gonna be black. I just wanted to give you a before to look at it. Before I paint them. Then once I paint them, I'll put the wheels on and give you another look at them. Remove the wheels from the Bentley. Now I start cleaning them up, getting all this gunk off of it because you don't want to start sanding and sanding some of that oil and stuff inside the scratches. Then your paint might react to it. So it's best to clean them up first. Guess I'll put them up on a stand or something and clean them up like that. I got all four wheels back on the inside. They some 275, 35, 20 inches. I didn't think they was 20s, but they are. I will be painting the front, also the back, but I'm not gonna be too concerned about getting the back real smooth. I prime it then, well, I'm gonna sand it down, then I prime it. Other than that, I'm not gonna try to wet sand it or nothing. But I tried to clean them off as good as I could. It had a lot of brake dust on the back side. I'm just going to go back and try to wipe some of this water off of it. Then I'll go ahead and blow it off. Get it kind of dry before I start sanding anything. I got the center caps here. We're going to leave the Bentley where it is. It's gonna be chrome. We're gonna keep that chrome. We're gonna keep the B. But this is gonna be black. What I'm doing now, I'm just scraping some of this asphalt on the back of the wheel. Trying to get it up before I start sanding it. And I'm also gonna be trying to remove these stickers here. Where they put the weight at. Like this part here. Try to smooth it out before I start sanding it. I done got this piece up. Before I start actually sanding everything, I'm going to hit my spots with some glazing pedal first. So I won't have a hard time trying to find the imperfections. I think this wheel here is pretty much good. And it's a little curve rash on this one here. But I could sand that out. I'm going to put some glaze and put it just on the top of it. Then I'm going to sand it out. Little spot there. I got to hit. And I think down here on this wheel here. It looks like somebody tried to spray paint this wheel at one time. But this little curb rash there that I'm going to hit. I 
house up in here. So let me take care of that, then we'll start signing them. These were some little minor scratches. The primer probably would have took it out, but then I heard to put nothing in it. Now I'm good to go to start sanding. So I got me got my piece tour already. It's the maroon scotch bright, the 07447. And the spots that I put glazing put in. I'm going to wet sand those spots with something like a 320 or a 400. But the rest of it, I'm just going to hit it with a scotch bright. Just going around it, scuffing it up. Giving the paint something to burn to. I'm going to do the front side and the back side with this. You can see the scratches. I'm not sure if you can see it through the camera. But it don't take much. Finished up with all the sanding. I also took them back outside and washed them off. I think I'm going to call it a night. Come out here in the morning and do the masking and spraying. I took these pieces here off the center cap so I can spray them without masking that. I guess I'll wipe them down before I go in so they'll be good and dry in the morning. Everything dried up now. Now I can start on the masking. I done started on this wheel here. I just tore me some pieces of tape like this because you can't do one continuous piece around the wheel because it ain't gonna make that contour. So you have to time in pieces like this and just put a piece in there at a time. Like that there. Just gotta make your way around and I'm going to do the front side and the back side, then I'll go back and put masking paper around the tie. So let me finish up doing all of them, then I'll cut back on. Masked up on the front of the wheel. I'm masking the tie up on this one. I just put a piece of masking paper around the whole outer edge. And I come back, fold this in, I connect it with the mask and tape around the lip. I'm getting it. I finished this wheel, the front and back. From these, I just got to do the back side, mask around the lip. Then I'll be good to go on these. All right, I'm ready to shoot some base now. We're well, not base, primer. I'm actually gonna use it as a primer sealer. I'm gonna reduce it, so it's gonna be actually used as a primer sealer. I gotta wipe everything out with some wax and grease remover first. And I'll be using a prep all wax and grease remover. Once I wipe it down, then I shoot my seal on it. Probably shoot two coats. Get my center caps over here.
two coats of the seal on it. I'm gonna have to sand, wet sand one wheel. It's wheel down here. You still can see up under the primer the imperfection. One feather edge also here. If I didn't have that problem now, I'll go straight to base right now. But I'm going to wait till that dry, then I sign it, then I go to base. I just got some 400 wick grit sandpaper. And I'm just going to knock this down, smooth it on out. It don't take much. Also, I had went back and repaired this here. It was like a little small hairline crack. You probably can see it right there. I just put some glaze and put on it. I gotta knock this down also. I'm good to go now. I don't have to resand the rest of the wheel because I'm shooting it within the time on the if I wait like 18 to 24 hours, I have to resign it, give it something to bond to. But it'll still have that chemical reaction now. The base coat. So the base on the front and the back. I think I'm gonna spray the back side first. The only thing I did, I just flipped them over on the stand like that. When I spray the front, I right, flip it back over. Let me mix up the clear. 
to be the clear I'm going with. It's the Grand 7 Oh My Clear. It's high solid mixes 2 to 1. I'm going to put about 3 coats on it. So, you better get you some. Lay it down real good. I'm going to let this dry up. Then I'll unmask it and put the center caps back on. I'll give you another shot. I'll look unmasked with the center caps on. Go to center caps here. I gotta put the Bentley Emlyn back in though. But that Grand Sam something serious. brought the center caps in, I put them in front of the fireplace. I'm trying to let them go ahead and cure up so I can handle them a lot more easier without scratching them up because the paint is dry but I don't want to handle them too rough right now because I got to repair some of the uh, pieces. I'm with JB Weller. This piece here, it was broke. I'm just from JB Weller and also I'm going to have to put them back in and JB Weller the backside. So this, so this piece here stay on. Then I can put the Bentley Emlyn back in. But I'm just trying to get them to cure up a lot more, so I can go on and finish up. Got that taken care of. See, that's what I JB wear. Now I'm just gonna let that sit overnight. Then I put the wheels back on.
really gave a damn about us. We never stopped.